Yo, it's your boy DeAndre Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use TWRP Recovery to create a backup of your stock ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So you've just rooted your Samsung Galaxy S6 and you've um, installed a custom recovery. Now you want to go ahead and flash a custom ROM, but you might want to back up your stock ROM. Just in case you don't like your custom ROM, you can always later restore your stock rom back onto your phone but you might not know how to create the backup so i'm going to show you how you can do it real quick so just boot into twr recovery by turning off the phone and you're just going to press the home button here along with the volume up button and the power button here on the side so you're going to press all three at the same time until it takes you into recovery okay so once you're in team win recovery just select the backup option here and then swipe across to backup You might get a fail to load error here, but it doesn't matter, that's perfectly normal. Okay, so the backup has started. Depending on how much um, things you've got on your device, um, it might take a while. Because it'll have to back up all your apps and everything. <clears throat> So it's almost done here, as you can see, it's at 89%. And it's complete as you can see here backup completed so I can reboot system now um, so once your backups completed you can reboot or you can just press back and to restore whenever you're ready just select restore here and you'll see the backup and it'll have the date of when you created the backup and you just go ahead and tap on it and then you can restore your phone back to its stock firmware so yeah this was just a quick video showing you how you can create a backup on your Samsung Galaxy S6 or your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge using TWRP recovery um, this is highly recommended before flashing any custom ROM onto your phone that means if anything goes wrong whilst you're flashing your custom ROM or anything like that, you can all, always restore your phone. So I highly recommend doing this before installing any custom ROM. Um, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the comment section down below. And also hit the subscribe button and subscribe to your boy. I'm the Android Doctor. I'm out. Deuces.